Hey everybody, let's make a timesheet in Notion using buttons. This is like a minimalist timesheet. That is what I use is very efficient. Let me show you how it works. Here's the end product, what you're gonna have by the end of this video. Also, if you just wanna cut to the chase, it is in the description. If you just wanna grab the template, go for it. I recommend building along with me because you'll learn, we'll learn together. So here it is, timesheet, what do you do? Well, if you're starting a work session, you'll click clock in. And as you see here, a row was created for the exact time and date that I clocked in. And then time goes by, time goes by, we're working, we're working, and now we clock out, click that button. And it will be pre-populated with the end time and it will calculate the hours worked for you. If you worked say uh, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. and you did an hour break, you didn't clock out, you can just pre uh, reactively add you know, hours on break there and it'll automatically do the math for you. And then if we want to, oops, if we want to keep track of what we did, we can put that here, what we did for work. This is useful if you have other clients, especially because you'll be able to show them what you did. If you're invoicing, you can kind of uh, go back and see what you did that month. And you can also have a quick summary of the hours that you want to bill them. So this is exactly what I use. Uh, let's get started. So what we're going to want to do is have a empty page and make the database that we're storing our work sessions. This is going to be the monthly view. And for every property, if you're new to Notion, you can change it here. Um, I'm not going to do that here just because it's kind of going to add too much time and it's pretty obvious how to do it. So add uh, whatever icons to taste. It definitely helps making your Notion stuff look good. Now, uh, for this, let's just call this my timesheet. This is the name of the database. Uh, hide the database title. We're going to reference that later, but I don't like looking at it. So I hide it. And here we're going to make the summary property. You cannot get rid of this property. So I go ahead and just made it useful by have that be the work summary for the session. Optional. Don't have to fill it out, but it's there if you want it. And then this is the default tags property. We're actually going to change this to be work. Um, let's do break hours and edit this property and make it a number. And now let's add three more. We're going to have a date. This is going to be start. I like looking at my dates in month, day, year, but you can change this date format to whatever you want. It does not really matter. And we're going to add another date. This is going to be the end. And then we're going to change it. And then last but not least, the fun one is the formula. This formula is going to be hours worked. The formula is in the description. If you want to just copy and paste it, this formula will take the end time minus the start time and then subtract the break hours. And then it puts it in minutes. So if you worked like um, an hour and 20, an hour and 30 minutes, it'll be 1.5 hours. So it's uh, specific enough there. And now for the fun stuff, let's add the buttons that actually do the magic for us. So this is going to be the clock in button. And what do we want to do here? We want to add a page to. And then if you remember the name you gave the database, you're going to select that. We called it my timesheet. If you remember, and if you don't remember, just a quick tip, you can always click open full page and you'll see it right there. And now I'll go back. So open this back up, add page to my timesheet, and then very simple, going to leave that blank. And we're going to have the start time be now. We don't want to do today because that's just the date. Now is date and time. So we are good there. It's as simple as that. Add another button. This is going to be, instead of adding a page, we're going to edit a page for the clock out. And remember, we clocked in, we created the page with that previous button that we just made does. And now we're going to edit a page in, again, the database, my timesheet. And this is where the magic happens. So this is going to be where start is today. And we're going to have one more rule here where end is empty. This will allow us to have multiple sessions per day. And what are we going to do uh, to this uh, page is we are going to set the end time to now. Again, click now because it's date and time. Um, of course, we got to make it look good. And we can put these wherever we want. And now if we click clock in, boom, started a work session clock out and ended a work session. I work zero hours, but if this was whatever half hour, it'll be point, it would be 0.5 here. 
and we can add the break hours here. Very simple, automatically does the math for us, but you'll notice it does not subtract or it does not add up the work hours like in the preview. So in order to do that, highlight this bottom row, click calculate and then hit sum. A couple of quick enhancements we wanna do here. If you always want your most recent work session to be at the top, that's how I have it. What you can do is go to filter and then click start and sort by descending and now that will be there and if you want to have different uh time aggregates so right now say i have a i'll show you real quick so you'll see here this is not grouping by month but we want it to so what would you do you have to add a group by here and it's going to be by the start time and then we will click the date by we'll click month so now if you have multiple months like we have here it'll be in two separate groups which is great if you bill like monthly and if we want to hide the empty group by here, of course, just toggle that on under that group by menu option there after you click the three dots. So now that we have this configured exactly how we want, we can right click, duplicate. And if we want to have it be by week or by day, you would click group and then you change this date by from month to whatever you want it to be. I'll make it week real quick here. And there you have it folks that's pretty much it again link in the description there's the template and let me know if this helps appreciate you bye